In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple little blitzing concept that you can use that's gonna get pressure against pretty much any offense in this game. Now, if you are new to the channel, I wanna encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and the latest strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're talking about the nickel 335 will formation. If you haven't heard of this, this is a great formation uh, out of this Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. You can also find this in other playbooks like the Chicago uh, defensive playbook. One of the things I really like about this, pack, this uh, formation is it has the cover four quarters, it has the cover six, it has the cover four uh, palms, and then it also has uh, the cover six invert. So very, very good match defenses in this. I actually put a whole defensive ebook out on the 335 wheel. I have to tell you, I think the 335 wheel is probably the most balanced defense. It combines a lot of concepts from nickel triple, um, but it also has all of the great match coverages that we love here on the channel. So if you want to check out uh, that defensive ebook, or if you want to get access to all of my men 22 ebooks, I've got that and 13 other offensive and defensive guides available over at my Patreon membership. So if you've not signed up for the Patreon yet, there will be a link in the description below where you can click on that and you can go check that out. You can sign up for the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel at any time. But as soon as you sign up, you're gonna get access to everything, all my eBooks, tips, and pro player uh, breakdowns. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you kind of a basic little principle or concept that you can use uh, to blitz out of pretty much any uh, package in this. Um, I like to use the cover one linebacker blitz for this or the overstorm brave. Uh, I think the cover one linebacker blitz gives you probably the best alignment, especially against uh, any kind of spread set. Uh, but it's really simple. So we're just going to come out and cover one linebacker blitz. Now, notice real quick if we show blitz, you're going to notice that the free safety is right here. So it doesn't really do us a lot of good to do that out of this in particular uh, play. So we're just going to pinch our defense. That's pretty much it. Um, and then we're going to QB contain. And then what I like to do is go ahead and use this guy opposite side of this guy. And I kind of know that my responsibility is I am supposed to guard the running back if he goes out on a route. So I'm just going to hold left trigger right here. And what you're going to see is we're going to get some a gap pressure at the quarterback. Now, every now and then the blitz angle is getting a little bit wonky. So again, let me just show you the setup pinch defense crash line out. I like to globally blitz the linebackers just to kind of help it a little bit. And then you, all you're gonna do here is you're just gonna stand kind of right in here. And what you should see is a gap pressure. Now, the reason that it's not coming in completely clean, uh, I think I, sh actually, I'm sorry, I think I messed up. I don't think you crash out on this. I think you just crash down. Uh, but basically we want this linebacker to be out here. So however we can get him out here. And you can kind of fiddle around with it a little bit and move them. The placement of the linebacker really does help a lot. Um, there you see, there's the pressure that we're talking about. See how we get that edge pressure. Now, let me show you a little trick out of Oberstorm Brave. Uh, I learned this early in the, earlier in the season um, and something that you can do out of this. So what we can do is we can put that cover one or really any of the plays that we wanna do this out of in our audibles. And then we can come out in the play uh, Overstorm Brave. So you notice one of the problems we were having with the blitz was that our linebacker really wasn't where we needed him to be uh, for the blitz to work well. Well, if we come out in this Overstorm Brave, you see how it pinch, automatically kind of pinches this linebacker. So then at that point, all we need to do is pinch our D line. We don't even have to press, or I'm sorry, we don't even have to pinch our linebackers, right? And now we have somebody manned up on, the, on that guy if we want to. Uh, and what you're going to see now is literally it's real simple and the pressure comes in completely free. Okay. This is going to force them to have to block somebody. It's a really, really easy little beginner blitz. Honestly, you don't even have to do anything. You can literally just come out, call this stand kind of right in here. And typically you'll get somebody off the edge as you just saw that I did. But the other cool part about this is if we audible to the cover one linebacker blitz, now you're going to notice that the linebacker stays exactly where he's at. And now I could, if I wanted to, I could do this. I could use her the free safety, have really good alignment here. Um, and then as you see there, we got some defensive tackle A gap pressure. You're gonna go between defensive tackle A gap, defensive end, you're gonna get some kind of heat. Um, but this is one of my favorite little tricks. So I just audible to this, I'll press coverage, I'll grab the safety. Typically I'll pinch the D line and that's pretty much all I have to do. And what you should see here, we get some pressure at the quarterback. Now, if you want to kind of help your pressure a little bit, what I would recommend is blitzing your user. 
and then you can crash your D-line out. So you see this is kind of what it looks like here. We're standing right over the center. Snap of the ball, we come down just a little bit. As you see, we get that defensive tackle A-gap. Um, that defensive tackle A-gap, it, it actually works a lot better uh, in-game than it does in practice mode. But the more you come down with your user, the better this is going to be. So you see here, come down with my user. There you see we get A-gap and edge. So real simple, you're going to force them to have to block uh, somebody. I mean, they're just going to have to block somebody. It's that simple. Literally, if you just pinch your D-line. What I like about 3-3-5 wheels, you notice that linebacker um, on that left side stays outside. And then that time our, our, a, or our edge got a little caught up. Again, the more you come down. So I would come down like maybe two to three steps, um, and you'll kind of guarantee your A-gap pressure. And I like to kind of stand maybe to the right here. So something like this, just kind of swoop down. Just like that that time we didn't come in part of this is a little bit practical being a little finicky um, but when you get that a gap pressure i'm telling you it's very scary for your opponent your opponent um, is not going to like that i guarantee you they're going to kind of rush some throws um, you know but if you don't get the pressure then what you can do to kind of guarantee it is just get a little closer with your user so um, the other easy solution to this is to um, go ahead and just like bring this guy down just like that a little bit crack you know you know just get them closer uh but anyway as you can see there's the a gap there's the edge you see how they kind of work together and you got man coverage behind it so you're going to force them to throw stuff you're going to force them to throw into coverage i like to do this this specific blitz i really like out of man coverage i really like to cover one linebacker blitz here because it's just a simple five man um, if you want to contain, you certainly can. Uh, you'll notice that these contains will really help the A-gap pressure come in fairly consistently. So anyways, that's a little five out pressure that you can use out of the 335 will. If you want to learn more about the 335 will, build an entire defense around some of this, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to all of my men 22 ebooks. We've got the 335 will in there. We've also got 13 other offensive and defensive guides. Got a brand new one that I just released this weekend. So I'd really encourage you to check it out. If you want to sign up for that, it's just $10 a month. You can cancel it at any time. There's a link in the description below uh, where you can get access to the Patreon. So click that link if you're still interested and uh, go check out that membership.